How long have you and James been together? Not about this, not about this. How do you get your teeth so white? Have you ever had any beef with other influencers? Not until recently. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a super chilled one. I'm gonna be sitting down and doing my makeup. I'm gonna be doing something colorful. I'm also gonna be using my extra spice palette because I've had a lot of requests to do another look using this because I haven't used it in a while. Actually, I swear I used it in a video recently. But I didn't do anything like that crazy with it. Actually, the majority of this is drugstore. But while I'm doing my makeup, I thought I would answer some questions. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram to send me in some things that you wanted to know. And I personally just love a good Q&A video. I saw my friend Sophie Louise. Oh my God, the day that I'm uploading this is actually Sophie's birthday. Everyone go wish Sophie Louise a happy birthday. But she did one of these videos the other day and she was just sitting down doing her everyday makeup and I answering some questions. I mean, this isn't gonna be my everyday makeup because I did one of those videos a few weeks back. But anyway, I hope you enjoy. As always, if you have any video suggestions, please leave them down below because I'm kind of struggling at the moment to think of new ideas. Oh, and also I changed my uh, cushions in the background because I still had my red tartan ones and I felt like it just looked a bit too Christmassy. So I've brought back the green floral ones, but I'm not gonna lie, really don't like these two cushions right here. Um, so I think I might get some new ones. I kind of want to switch up my background. Like I'm just a bit bored of it, to be honest. With like my whole moving thing being delayed, part of me is really tempted to turn my brother's currently not used room into like a filming room office. Imagine if I did all of that and then suddenly lockdown is lifted and they're like, yeah, you can move in next week. I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm actually gonna get into the video. I hope you enjoy, give it a thumbs up. That would really help me. And I'm going to drag my tripod towards my, my bed because uh, my camera lens doesn't zoom in. I will try and mention everything that I'm using, but if I forget, I will leave everything linked down below. So I'm starting off with my SPF Body Shop Skin Defense, SPF 50. Wow, that's looking really good. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's get a question up. So the first question is, is COVID affecting YouTubers' incomes just interested? I'm using my uh, Maybelline Dream Urban Cover. The answer to this question is actually yes, and in more than one ways. So the first way that it's affecting income is that obviously like we can still stay at home and make videos and we get AdSense money, as in like when people watch our adverts on our videos, we get a percentage of that. However, at the moment, obviously ads are still going on videos, um, but a lot of advertisers have reduced their ad rates and like the money that they're putting into advertising and just generally like brands putting adverts out there on YouTube because obviously at the moment, a lot of things aren't in production and a lot less people are, well, people can't go out to the shops and buy things. Um, so brands just in general have got less money to use for advertising. So that affects the AdSense rates. And also as well, the majority of like brand deals and things have been either canceled or pushed back just because again, the brands don't have the budget because obviously lots of people aren't being able to go into work and it's kind of just affecting every single business really. However, I am extremely lucky that I am still able to obviously make videos and still get some money from AdSense. Um, but yeah, that's the answer to that one. And then I'm guessing if people have got like merch and stuff, that's probably had to stop production. So it's definitely affecting things. I'm using my gosh, high coverage concealer because this is really nice. Now we are on lockdown and have to do our own nails. Can you do a few design ideas slash tutorials? I did actually consider this. I don't know if you guys would want a nail video because to be honest, I've done quite a few videos in the past where I've showed you guys how I do my gel nails. And I have been doing a few nail videos on my TikTok. So if you're not following me over there, it's just Soph Does Life. If you just type in Soph Does Life, gel nails it will probably come up with the videos that i've included it in but i'm still using all the same stuff i still use the brand called miley um, and their led lamp and all of their colors and stuff and then in terms of like the designs like what i've done at the moment i just used a white nail polish to like hand paint the designs which is kind of hard to do a tutorial on because it just takes a lot of practice. <laughs> I just look at a picture and copy it and put it on my nails. I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier powder because I forgot to bring another one over onto my bed. Next question. Are you a spender or a saver? I'm definitely a saver. Well, especially at the moment, I'm a saver because I uh, haven't really got anywhere to be or anything to spend my money on. I've got this question a lot. Um, it says, are you and James in lockdown together? I always had lots of questions being like, are you isolating with James? Why aren't you isolating with James? So yes, we are currently, we're not isolating together. 
James is with his family, I'm with mine. Uh, the reason being is because we thought that we were going to be able to move in to the new house because that was literally, <laughs> we were like down to the last stages um, and the week of lockdown we were supposed to be exchanging contracts and then we're going to be moving in within the next couple of weeks. So we just kind of assumed that that was still gonna be able to go ahead. Um, but then the government was like, if you haven't already exchanged contracts, all house moves have kind of been put on hold because it's not like an essential move, I guess. And because we hadn't exchanged the contracts yet, it wasn't like legally binding yet. Um, so that was one of the reasons, but the main reason is because we both have our own families and especially for James, obviously like I'm not gonna go into all of his personal family life and stuff, but he's got family members that he needs to help take care of and look after. Um, so yeah, he is currently at his and I am currently at mine and um, I haven't seen him for three weeks and I really miss him. And obviously if I'd have known that lockdown was coming, I probably would have just moved in with him. For bronzer, I'm using my Revolution Pro Sculpting Bronzer in Bar here, which looks like this. Someone has said, why don't you include your parents in your videos? By the way, love you so much. Thank you so much, I love you too. Um, I just like to keep my family life a bit more private. Uh, my parents don't really have any desires to be in my videos and I don't really have any desires to put my parents in videos. I'd rather just keep it separate. I'm sure it would be fun to have my parents in some videos, but I think they'd rather like not have the attention and stuff. Cause obviously if they're in my videos, then people might recognize them out on the streets or whatever. I love my parents. They are great, um, but I'd just rather keep them offline just to kind of, I don't know. I'm a bit protective of them and of like my personal life i have had so many questions asking how me how me and james met oh which blush do i go for should we go for this more orangey one today this is by rimmel and it's the sweet cheeks blush Ooh, she pretty i thought it was just gonna come out like a carrot but um i really like that oh i've forgotten my highlighter Okay, I was crawling under my tripod and I just knelt on a plug socket that was facing upwards. Oh my God, it's actually dug into my skin. Lovely, I've got a nice missing patch of skin. Ooh, well that was a wild ride. Anyway, what was I saying? I'm, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill highlighter in Extra. So you know something that's actually really funny? Um, me and James, James's best friend is one of my family friends that I've known my whole life. As in like my mum went to baby classes with, um, there's like a brother and sister and me and my brother grew up being friends with these two of our friends. <laughs> is that making any sense? I have been family friends with James's best friend for my whole life, but I did not know that James existed until two summers ago. A bunch of families like that we know met up to have a picnic two summers ago and James came to that and that is the first time that we met. Ooh. And he was so nice to me and I was like, there is no way that this boy is single. <laughs> I just assumed that he would have been taken but it turns out he was actually single and um, that was the first time that we met. And then we realized after that, that all like major kind of life events, like birthdays, like 18th birthdays, 21st birthdays and stuff like that. When I had gone to one of those events with my family friends, James hadn't been able to make it. And when he had been there, I hadn't been able to make it. And so like all these years, I had never known that he even existed and we'd never met up until that point, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, that was when we met for the first time, so but we didn't actually start like speaking until a couple months after that. So we met in July, I think it was, of that summer. And then we started speaking and had our first date in October of that year. And the rest is history. I also had loads of questions saying, how long have you and James been together? So I like to count it from our first date. He likes to count it from when he actually like officially asked me to be his girlfriend. If we go from our first date, it's been a year and a half. If we go from when he asked me to be his girlfriend, it's been a year and four months. Oh, a question which is actually relevant to my brows. How come you changed your eyebrow shape? Love them before and now, just curious. So I actually posted a tweet about this the other day. Um, by the way, I'm just going in with my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I did actually change my brow shape recently. I'm not sure if you guys will have noticed on here. I think I mentioned it in a video. I'd seen a few other people change their eyebrow shape to like 
make them less arched and extend them slightly higher rather than down. I saw Snitri do a tutorial about how she shaved off half her eyebrow. Um, and I also know that Hannah Renee, she also started like filling her eyebrows in um, a little bit more kind of like, <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, oh, my, okay, my eyebrows are definitely not very even today. This one's more like, yeah, I'd seen other people do it and I kind of just wanted to try it. And so I tried filling in my eyebrows a little bit more straight one time. And then I was like, you know what? I actually prefer this shape to the shape that I used to have, which was a lot more like it came down the sides a lot more. So yeah, I tried it once and then decided to just kind of shave off the eyebrow bits that came down here. So my natural eyebrows are now a little bit shorter this way, but when I filled them in, I really liked them and that's about it. I mean, if you're wondering, I just use one of these little like eyebrow razors to just shave off the end. I'm not recommending that you do this by the way. Please try it first before you do anything. And if you're, if you're gonna uh, change your eyebrow shape, I would highly recommend shaving them rather than waxing or plucking them because if you pluck or wax them there's a slight probability that the hair might not grow back whereas if you shave them it's obviously not like pulling it out from the root so just a tip i also use this to shave my face like a little bit of this a little bit of this uh, i have done like my sideburn bits before and like my whole face but i went a little bit prickly so <laughs> so i don't really do that anymore but i do do my upper lip with this as well and my eyebrows skinny dip launch update so i'm going to take 21 which is this shade um so a little update if you guys hadn't actually seen on my social medias or you haven't been watching my videos um where i've mentioned it i was set to do a second collaboration with skinny dip which oh my god i was so and i'm still so excited about like so incredibly excited for you guys to see everything um because oh my god it is so so nice <laughs> i mean i might be a bit biased but um yeah so that was supposed to be launching at the end of march obviously because of COVID. Everything is now put on hold and we don't actually have a new launch date yet obviously because we've just got to follow the government's guidelines about when businesses can reopen again. So for now I'm not sure but it will be happening. It will 100% still be happening um, just not quite yet. Obviously I will keep you guys updated. How are your lashes after curling them? Um, they're actually doing pretty good. They're still curly I haven't lost massive clumps of eyelashes or anything. I think there are a couple that are starting to grow through and obviously the new ones are growing in straight. Um, but for now, they still look really good. They're still definitely curled. Although I have read that apparently if you like curl, not curl, what's the word, perm. If you perm your eyelashes too much, then it can like really damage them. So I don't know if I'll do it again, but for now they're looking great. How do you get your teeth so white? This was one of the most asked questions. I think because I posted a picture of me smiling. Uh, I'm just gonna take sweet and sour. Okay, so let me just let me just explain the history of my teeth. I used to whiten them with Crest white strips myself, which I got in America. Um, they're kind of difficult to get hold of in the UK, but if you ever go to America, would recommend Crest white strips, but don't use them too often because they can damage your teeth. Um, I then had my teeth whitened at the dentist as part of my Invisalign treatment. I had like the gel that you put in the retainer that you sleep overnight in. And then more recently, just to top them up slightly, I've been using the Beverly Hills Formula White Strips. Oh, I've actually used the Blanks White Strips as well. They both kind of like do a decent job, but not as good as the Crest White Strips from America. Taking a bit of vitamin C, which I could probably also do with taking some real life vitamin C because Apparently it's good for your immune system. <laughs> Quite a lot of people just generally said, how are you doing? Which, thank you, that is really nice of you to ask. Um, and also quite a few people have asked, how is my anxiety with like lockdown and everything? Um, to be honest, uh, if you guys saw my Instagram post yesterday, you will know this already, like I did go into it a little bit, but I haven't really been the best recently. Like I've been having some really down days and I've been crying a lot and it's mostly just because like I know that this might sound pathetic and I know that obviously like a lot of people have it worse um, and I'm very lucky that I'm safe and healthy and other people can go months without seeing their partners but I'm just not used to being apart from James so much. This is the longest that we've been apart since we've been together so for the past year and a half we've been seeing each other like three or four times a week so to go from that to not seeing him for three weeks I've just been really down about it to be honest and really sad and more just anxious about like I don't know when all this is going to be over and when we're going to be able to see each other again obviously like there will be an end to it and it will be over um hopefully soon but yeah it's all just been getting like a bit on top of me recently 
um, and also just like the general disease is obviously pretty worrying so yeah I have not been doing great if I'm completely honest but I am feeling a little bit better today I was going to film this yesterday but I was just not in any fit state to be filming because to be honest yesterday I was just crying most of the day so that was fun but the main thing is we are healthy our families are healthy and um yeah I'm very lucky that I have somewhere to be that I can stay and be safe but yeah that was the honest answer to the question but thank you guys for asking I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> if it wasn't for the quarantine, when would be your moving day? And I've also had questions saying, how is the house progress going? Just general questions about what's going on with that. So I kind of answered this at, like in a previous question. We would have moved in by now if it wasn't for lockdown. Um, so the current status is that I'm, you know, ready, ready to go. Everything's been signed, contracts have been signed, but um, they haven't been exchanged yet. So I'm just currently waiting to hear from the solicitors and see What's happening really um, is kind of out of my hands, out of my control. Are you an only child? You never mention any brothers or sisters in your videos. You must be new here. So I do have one brother. He is a year and a half older than me. And I have definitely mentioned him in videos before, like in my birthday haul video, I mentioned him and his girlfriend. Um, the reason why I probably don't mention him that much is because he doesn't actually live with us anymore. He's moved out and he lives with his girlfriend um, and he lives like an hour and a half away from me. So that's why like he's never in the house or anything because he doesn't live here anymore. So yes, but I do have a brother and he is great. And I actually really miss him. Haven't seen him since Christmas and yeah, it's been a while. Wow, this is a proper raccoon look today. I'm using the, what's this called? LA Splash Art Architect eyeliner. How did your ads fundraiser go where you were raising money for the NHS? It actually did amazingly well so far. However, I don't have a total yet because um, it's until the end of the month that obviously like I've got to wait until I get paid. Um, but currently, just to like put things into perspective, my regular videos, so like one of my videos, the video that I posted before it, the AdSense is roughly $260, but the NHS video is nearly 10 times that at the moment. So apparently putting like a ton of ads in your videos and people watching them all the way through, I just, I didn't realize how massive of an impact it could have, which is amazing. And I'm so, so happy with. So thank you guys so much for watching that video and watching the ads and it's amazing we've raised so much money for the nhs i can't wait to see the full total um of like all the youtubers put together obviously at the end of the month um i will tell you guys the full amount that we raised and also like the full amount that my video raised um but yeah for now it is doing amazingly well so thank you this eyeliner is actually like the end of it is all messed up oh interesting question have you ever had any beef with other influencers not until recently <laughs> and i didn't even realize that it was beef until I accidentally ended up in a drama video. I ended up being in a video on a channel, I think it's just called Spill? Is it called Spill or Tea Spill? I don't know, I was watching a video that popped up in my recommended and um, I was in it, <laughs> so. It was all a big misunderstanding, basically. Um, oh God, it's so hard to talk and do your eyeliner at the same time. I'm gonna have to change eyeliner because this one's not working for me. Um, this is the Rimmel One Deluxe Volume Mascara. Basically what happened is I uh, posted a video which was testing TikTok makeup hacks and with one of the makeup hacks in that video, a company tried to copyright claim my whole video because I used that one TikTok of um, this girl's makeup hack. And it turns out um, it wasn't actually her herself that had like copyrighted my video. It was basically a bigger company that had contacted her and asked to like pay her an amount to purchase the rights to her video. And then they go and scour the internet for that particular video that they've like bought off someone. And then they make copyright claims on all of the YouTube videos and then earn all of the AdSense. So I posted a tweet about it being like, wow, this girl has copyrighted my video and will now be earning all the AdSense from it when like using a TikTok in a video is fair use. There was no music in it. It was literally just her voice and you can use like other clips of people's videos like it all falls under fair use to a certain extent um but yeah my tweet made it into this drama video and i think the girl that like did the tiktok she was not very happy about it but um yeah i didn't i didn't mean for it to be like i don't know 
I didn't mean for it to cause any drama. I was just like a bit annoyed that my video had been copyrighted for no like legal reason. But yeah, I don't think it was the TikTok girl's fault. I think it was like this company that had purchased the rights to her video. So I hope there is no drama there. Like they were never meant to be. Um, so I had a lot of questions saying, how are you coping in lockdown? How are you coping with your boyfriend not being able to see each other? So just in general, how I've been trying to cope with lockdown is um, not getting mad at myself if I'm not like 100% productive. It's literally a global pandemic. It's okay to be stressed and anxious and worried and not feeling like you really wanna do much. I've just realized I forgot to put primer on. I'm using the Kiss Lashes in Muse like I used the other day. And this is the House of Lashes glue in black. I've never used a black lash glue before. I have been trying to get out in the garden um, and just get some fresh air. I have also been doing not a walk every day, but like every few days I've been doing a walk with my parents just so that I stay sane because I don't know, I think getting out and doing that is like quite important for my mental health. Um, obviously just like around the local area where I live, um, like we barely see anybody, but if we do, we're keeping like five meters distance. Um, I've been watching a lot of TV, a lot of Netflix. I've, I've watched all of Tiger King. Um, I've watched Liar, which is an ITV show, which is amazing. I've watched Safe on Netflix. Um, I have obviously watched The Stranger. I've been watching all of Netflix's murder documentaries because I'm a bit of a weirdo and I really like them. Um, me and my parents have trying, been, been trying to play board games. We've been playing dominoes and banana grams. I've been Skyping everyone or like Zoom calls calling everyone, my managers just to keep up with them, um, my brother, James obviously, my friends, me and my friends have been doing game evenings via Zoom. There's this like party pack game website called Jackbox, which one person does have to pay for, but if one person in your group pays for it, then you can all play the games and it is so much fun. So now instead of going to the pub, we're doing Zoom sessions and playing games on jackbox.tv. And then me and James have been FaceTiming like pretty much every day. We've been making quizzes for each other. Um, we're gonna do like a dinner date on Friday via FaceTime where we both cook the same meal and then sit down and eat it together. <laughs> oh, and I've been baking as well. I made the nicest chocolate cake. And oh my god it was so delicious and i ate it all so i'm gonna make another one so yeah that's what i've been doing watching a lot of youtube as well like so much youtube what fake tan do you consistently use uh my favorite one at the moment is actually the tanologist what's it called the spray like dark spray there's no guide color so you have to like really make sure that you rub it in everywhere but it doesn't like stain my sheets and get all over everything oh i've had a lot of questions about where my earrings are from as well they're actually mismatched um all of my earrings like in my earlobes are from a brand called new hoops n-u-e hoops and they do like different charms that can go on them on my second ones you can't really see but i've got these little tiny dangly elephants um and then my third ones are just like little huggies i'm gonna go for one of these let's go for this the nars full vinyl lip lacquer in santo domingo oh that's quite pink uh, I'm not too sure what I think of that because it's quite pink. I think something a bit more brown would probably look better. Let's try that again. Really nice formula though. Are you still friends with Sophie and Chaz? Yes, I am still friends with them. We actually talk quite regularly. We've got a group chat on WhatsApp. We haven't seen each other in ages because we were planning to meet up before all of this happened. But then Jazz was having to move house. I thought I was going to be moving house. So we thought we would just wait. Um, and then obviously all of this happened. So yeah, that's the reason we haven't seen each other in ages. But as soon as this is over, we are definitely going to be meeting up. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see them. Oh, by the way, I just used syrup from my Revolution lipsticks. And then I've just gone in with a bit of MAC peach stock. Did you have any different jobs before doing YouTube? Yes, I actually did waitressing uh, for like events and stuff. To be honest, I probably did about 10 shifts before I quit because my manager was really, really mean and I just hated it. It was while I was still at school and I was like, you know what? I would rather just not have this job and be earning no money than have to do this. But I was at school at the time, so I didn't have to work because I was still living with my parents. And obviously my plan was to then get a new job um, and another job, but then YouTube came along and I got very, very lucky, so. And the final question I'm gonna answer says, what's the first thing you're going to do once out of lockdown? Uh, I think just go for a meal and I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna order everything on the menu because i've saved so much money from like not going out to dinner and stuff i haven't even got a takeaway like since all of this has happened 
Uh, I think I will either go for a nice steak or I will go to Wagamama. I really miss Wagamama and I really miss their chicken katsu curry and their wok fried greens and my belly is literally rumbling. I don't know if you just heard that. I'm gonna go have a fat meal and enjoy every moment of it. So this is the finished look. It's just like a completely matte sunset eye look and I actually kind of love it. I will leave all the products that I use down below including my extra spice palette if you guys want to still get your hands on it. It's still only £10 which I can't actually quite believe because look at look at this. So those are all the questions that I'm going to answer. Thank you guys if you sent me a question. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was a distraction um, and if you did like it please give this a thumbs up. A thumbs up? <laughs> a thumbs up rather, uh, because that really does help me out in the algorithm, I think, I've been told. As always, if you have any video suggestions, leave them down below. If you would like to subscribe and you would like to continue seeing my face, press the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and um, yeah, I hope you guys are all good. I hope you're well, I hope you're safe, I hope you're healthy, um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!